Hey guys, welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Ryan. This is cycle number five since my miscarriage in January. I've had four losses. If you watched my pregnancy video from last month, I was super down and upset and just having a bad month. Every once in a while, I just, I do that. I get really kind of down and depressed. But this month, I'm trying to be more positive and you know, if it, does, if it doesn't happen, then we can try again next month. So, um, my ovulation this month was a gradual surge. It was like over four days, which is very unusual for me. That's never happened. So, um, hoping that because it was different this month, that, that something different will happen and it will be good news. Okay, so, wow, this is not, not good lighting for me. Okay, anyway, let's get to the testing, guys. Using the Easy at Home. Oh my gosh. Guys, my hands are sweaty. Let me get some scissors. Gonna be okay, right, guys? Okay, just cover that up. Set my timer, and I'll be back, guys. Okay, guys, here we go. I don't think I see anything. <clears throat> I hope that's clear enough. Okay, well, positive thing. I'm not getting super upset like last month, but I'm gonna test again in the morning just in case. And I will see you then. Good morning, guys. I'm in the half bath because my husband just got home from work and he's in our bedroom sleeping. So <clears throat> I am not testing today because I started my period last night. I don't understand why I started so early. Literally was only 10 DPO. This cycle was so different than any cycle I've ever had. I don't get it. And um, I don't know, I'm super bummed right now. Like I just, I don't understand. I was in a much better mood yesterday because I had a little bit of hope. You know, I was just not excited about testing today, but I wasn't really worried about the negative. I was just looking forward to testing again today. My cycle this month was only 23 days. I've had a short cycle before, 23, 24, that was kind of normal. You know, like, probably last year, it was normal for me to have a short cycle, but lately they've been like 
28, 29 days, I think. <clears throat> but to start on 10 DPO is kind of weird. Usually like 12, 13, 14 DPO I start. So I was not expecting to start last night. So anyway, we will move on. I haven't got pregnant since January and it was a chemical. So it's been, what is this? I can't even cycle five, four or five. I lost count. It's been two years now. So <clears throat> anyway, I'm bummed out right now. But I guess, you know, yesterday was a negative. So I probably, you know, normally when I get a negative on 10 DPO, it's not going to happen anyway. Since I have seen a positive on like 7 DPO, so might as well start anyway so I can start my ovulation tests again. So I guess might as well. <clears throat> start thinking positive, you know, glass half full. Let's think positive, right? <laughs> I'm just going on and on right now. We can do this, guys. We gotta be there for each other. We've got this. It's gonna happen. Mm -hmm.